at this stage that this Article 87, according to the President makes his special address to Parliament, should be freshly thought of. Because actually, the article makes a person speak what he does not believe in. That is the President's speech. The President has quoted, President's speech has quoted various persons and announced schemes in new names. They include quotes from Shama Prashad Mukherjee and Dindwal Upadhyay. It does not, the President's speech does not have the any quotation from Gandhiji, Jawaharlal Nehru, Rabindranath or Vivekananda. Now these two persons, they were only leaders of BJP. They are not national leaders. Why should they be quoted in the President's speech? And, and, and also, there is a new scheme announced in the name of Nanaji Deshmukh. He was not even a leader of BJP and a new scheme has been announced by the President in his name. I strongly object to that. Sir, the President's speech mentions some new steps. The government has been busy in dismantling old structures and repackaging old schemes. They have dismantled the planning commission and jettisoned the planning process without any consensus and consultation with the states. But nobody till now knows what the Niti Ayog is supposed to do, how the finances plan funds to the states will be distributed. Sir, they have di discontinued the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission for the towns, but the urban development mission has not yet been finalized. Nobody knows what the smart cities stand for. So the whole government seems to be work in progress. Nothing has been finalized. Sir, the government has only repackaged old schemes. The accelerated irrigation benefit program has become Pradhan Mantri Sichai Jojana. The Nirmal Bharat Abhijan has become Saj Bharat Mission. The Prime Minister's financial inclusion program, which was in the 12th plan document, has become PM's Jandhan Jojana. Rajiv Gandhi Gramin Vidyuti Karan Jojana has become the Dindayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Jojana. The direct benefit transfer scheme has become Pahel. Ganga Action Plan has become Namami Gange. Sir, in this house I had objected for all new schemes being named after Nehru's or Gandhi's. And I wanted schemes in the name of Netaji. But the new government does not think Netaji's name should be there, only in the name of small leaders of their party, they have named new schemes. Dindal Upadhyay has three schemes in his name. The Dindal Upadhyay Gramin Kaushal Yojana and Dindal Upadhyay Antodai Yojana. So in the name of one leader of their party, who is not even a national leader, they have named three schemes. Sir, this government, which the president called my government, is a government of packaging and photo ops, photo opportunities. The PM dresses up in a rupees 10 lakh suit and he is photographed wielding a broom and then he is followed by film actor. Only photo ops, only advertisement, no content in this government. Sir, what is happening down below is another story. Now he does not, the Prime Minister does not stop with photo ops. He also gives sound bites and monkey bath. So ye to pura film actor jaisa hua. Ye is pe to koi Pradhan Mantri ka kaam ye nahi hota hai. Sir, I want to say that the government came into power with a clear majority, raising high hopes among people. It promised to bring back all the black money stashed abroad and put in rupees 15 lakhs in every householder's account. In that hope, 
large number of accounts were opened under Pradhan Mantri Janman Jojana. But eight months later, these hopes are belied. Now, Rupia Wapas like yeah. Now people have reacted. Aapke non fulfillment of promises se log art bahina me react kya. Billi me sato log sava seat aapke tha. Kebal teen mila. I have never heard that number of number of MLAs is less than the number of MPs in the city of Delhi, national capital. This is your condition today. Huh? And you know, in Bihar, they tried to prevent Nitish Kumar from becoming CM. They could not. And in West Bengal, the BJP was third in a parliamentary by-election, proving that all their big talk and visit of the BJP president has not created any impact in our state. Sir, the, the other reason, other please introspect, Mr. Arura Thakur, why your popularity is going down so badly. The main reason, you have to introspect, not only some leader from the Congress, but you must also introspect. Both Sir, Sir, another reason for the ruling party's sharp fall in popularity, oh, as Sir, mentioned in the president, that. Why are you making is the intolerance that? displayed by the ruling party people. In this house, we have heard an apology by a lady minister for her intemperate comment against minorities. We have also heard the apology of a member of the ruling party for praising Gandhiji's assassin. There has been attack on churches in Delhi and there has been riots in Tilokpuri. Sir, after all this, the Prime Minister gave a statement that calling for tolerance. And even after, next day after his statement, the Vishya Hindu Parishad General Secretary spoke about continuing Ghar Wapsi. This has created fear in the minds of the minorities. And look at what has happened, sir, that the government has spoken of new metros in Ahmedabad and Nagpur. The government thought process runs from Ahmedabad to Nagpur, which is the RSS headquarters. And what has the RSS General Secretary said yesterday? He has said that Mother Teresa did social work to convert people into Christianity. Now, for an internationally recognized social worker who's got the Nobel Prize for Peace, the VHP General, the RSS General Secretary says this. Now, I would not have, I would not have commented, but in this house, I heard the law minister who was just a little ago here say that I'm proud to be RSS. So is he proud of the RSS General Secretary's statement calling names to Mother Teresa? That's a point I hope the ruling party will clarify. Sir, I want to say something. Remind you, sir, I came to this house in 77 as a young boy. I used to sit just here, sir. Next to me was a member called Esan Jafri. He was MP from Ahmedabad. He is no longer there. I won't find him because he was killed during the Gujarat riots in Gulbarga society, one kilometer from the chief minister's office. Who was the chief minister? Our present prime minister. I do not want a situation in which such a thing happens again. And if it is to happen, let us be Tinomul Congress people are prepared to sacrifice their lives to, pre to preserve communal harmony in the country. 
سرفروشی کی تمنا آج ہمارے دل میں ہے دیکھنا ہے زور کتنا بز ہوئے قتل میں ہے جو لوگ یہ کرتے ہیں ہم دیکھ لیں گے کیسے وہ کمیونل رائٹ کرتے ہیں سر دیر شوڈ بی نو مور ایس ہم جافیس سر یو پی اے گورنمنٹ ہے لوٹ اپ پرابلم سیٹ واز بی ڈیبل بائی سکینس but it enacted some very good pro-people legislation like the Right to Information Act, Right to Education Act, the New Land Requisition Act, and the Food Security Act. Now, in the interest of the corporates, this government has brought an ordinance which will take away five types of projects from social impact assessment. And for, in the former act, during EPS time, After five years, if the project was not built, it would be given back to the original owner. That is being removed in the interest of helping corporates. We strongly oppose the new amendment brought to the Land Acquisition Act. They have killed, they have tried to kill the act through this amendment. Sir, food security is another important step taken by the UPA government. Now, Shanta Kumar, BJP MP, has given a report of a committee saying that there should be 40% cut in food subsidy. This government, it should come down to 40%. This government does not care for the poor, for the hungry. They are only constantly talking about increasing ease of doing business. Now, sir, I saw a statement by Deepak Parikh. He is the... Deepak Parikh has said that nothing has changed on the ground. He said, citing delays HP, HDFC Bank, of which his chairman faced in obtaining approvals, Mr. Parikh said he had seen no improvement in the ease of doing business. To raise some capital in HDFC Bank, it took more time this time than earlier years to get approval. Situation and there is ease of doing business only for. No, please, please, please. Only, only. Only. Sir, only ease of doing is business is for Mr. Adani. When the Prime Minister went to Australia, the State Bank Chairman flew to Australia just to give a $1 billion so that Adani, I'm not naming Gautam Adani or anything, I'm saying Adani in general. Uh, so I am saying only to give him a $1 billion loan, the State Bank Chairman flew down to Australia. Yeah. This is a government of corporates. Yeah. These people are against the poor people. Sir, lastly I want to say that our party has always opposed indiscriminate entry of foreign direct investment in vital sectors of the economy. We are opposed FBI in retail in UPA government. Now it seems that the Prime Ministers make in India as mentioned in the President's address, means entry of FDI. The government proposes 100% FDI in, uh, in railways, 49% in defense, and 49% in insurance, and entry of FDI in the housing sector. We oppose these proposals in the interest of the country's security and our quest for self-reliance. Privatization. They are even going to privatize the airport. They are going to derationalize coal mines. That is the way in which the government is proceeding. But as you know, coal industry had a total strike protesting against this privatization. The working class will protest if, against the way in which the government is going. So lastly, I want to say education has been a victim of the government's efforts at saffronization. A person with doubtful credentials has been made chairman of Indian Council for Historical Research, ICHR. Now Professor Amor Toshen has resigned from the chancellorship of the Nalanda University, citing government interference in university autonomy. 
there is also a danger signal that instead of developing scientific temper among students, the Prime Minister is talking about plastic surgery done on Ganesh's neck. Now, if the Prime Minister mistakes, myths for real science or surgery, then what will the people learn and what will the students learn in his monkey bath? Sir, I shall end with two small points. Sir, the government has been lucky in the international fall in crude oil prices with the coming of American shale oil in the market. But the full benefit has not been passed on to the consumer and the government has used the windfall to make up for its budget deposit. And, sir, I may mention in this regard that the whole speech does not mention anything about treatment, about the National Rural Health Mission. In our state, we have started fair price shops, our state government, in all the hospitals. So lastly, the president's speech denotes a shift in foreign policy. It does not mention SARC or BRICS, that is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, but calls American president's visit historic. The need for non-aligned movement in the present unipolar world and need to face challenges posed by terrorist forces like ISIS and Al-Qaeda are left out. And after all the bonhomie, the Prime Minister calling the American President by name, surprising anybody. What happens? He goes back, the American President, I'm not naming him, and gives us a lecture on maintaining tolerance in this country. This country, under the present government, has cowed out to the Americans. Lastly, I want to say, let the BJP realize that the popularity graph is falling. They should get their act together and restrain the hotheads and fringe elements and lunatic fringe of the party from doing things which are communal. Let them remember that this is a country which offers unity in diversity. This is a country which has a composite culture, not a merely Hindu culture. Let them work as the government. They have got a majority, but let them remember what Tagore said. He said, Esho he arjo, esho on arjo, Hindu Musulman, esho esho aaj, tumi ingraj, esho esho Christian, esho esho Brahman shuchi korimon, dharo hath shabakar, esho he potit, haung ponit, shabapoman bhar. Maar hubi sheke esho esho tora, mongol ghat hai ni je bhara, shabar parashe pabitra kora tirtho nire, ehi bharo ter mohab manober, shagaro tire, and in this bhara tirtha, let the people unite and let all divisive forces be defeated. With that, sir, I end my